Hey everyone, my name is Rob and today we're talking about plants that I don't like. So some of these plants I've owned before and I just did not enjoy growing. Um, some of them I've seen in person and I just, I don't like them. And some of these plants have very high price tags and I just don't understand why. Now, that being said, I do reserve the right to change my mind on any of these plants if I see them in person and I see one I like, such as ZZ plants. Um, initially, I did not understand why anyone liked them because I thought they looked really ugly in pictures. And then I saw one in person and I decided I liked them. Um, I only own a raven, but I do like every single ZZ out there, like the regular one, the gem, which I think they call the Zenzi. And then I also really, really like, I think Costa Farms just came out with something called a chameleon, which is, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but from the looks of it in pictures, I do like it. Before we get started, I do want to say that I will give some alternates to ones that I do like that kind of give off the same vibe as the ones that I don't like. So, so the first plant that I really don't like are caladiums. Now, I am an aroid collector, so I do like most aroids, but I really don't like the look of caladiums. I'm, if I'm looking off to the side, I'm actually looking at pictures of them right now, and I, I, I just think they look a bit like vomit. Like, I don't, yeah. There's like a pink one that everyone really likes, um, and then a white one that everyone really enjoys, and I just, oh. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna keep talking. Um, and I just, I just don't like them. I'm scrolling through the pictures, if you're wondering what I'm doing. And it, uh, like, I don't like that the leaves look like, they almost look like alien skin in that sense. And they're a little bit see-through. Like if you put your hand on the other side, you can actually probably see it if you touch it. Um, yeah. And I've seen them in person, so like I'm not gonna change my mind on this. Like I don't like the look of them on pictures and in person, any of them that I see. And also they're hard to look after, so I don't understand why anyone would want them, especially for the price tag that they carry sometimes. There is one Caladium that I like, and it's called the Hilo Beauty. I'm very, it's very confusing because here in North America they keep calling it the Alocasia Hilo Beauty, but it's actually a Caladium. So I don't know what's going on there. I think growers probably need to update their, you know, what they're labeling it, I guess. But that one I have owned and I really love. That one I would own again. That is a gorgeous one. The second plant that I really don't like is the Calathea ornata. I hate this plant with a passion. It, it's so hard to grow. I'm good with Calathea and prayer plants in general and I hate this plant so much. I did not know what it wanted. Like, it would just crisp up no matter what. The soil was moist. It was next to a humidifier. It had good light. It not direct light either. Indirect light. So I don't understand <laughs> what is wrong with this plant. Um, and I think other people have the same experience with this plant as well. It's just it's. I had an easier time growing the Calatheo was it with Ski I oh I'm sorry that's Japordian now but anyway. I had an easier time growing that, which everyone says is hard to grow compared to the Ornata. That that plant just, I, I don't know what was wrong with that plant. It just did not like me. It did, like the crispiness, the just no, not worth it. These plants are not worth the price tag. I don't, I don't understand why they're so expensive. I really don't. Um, the Philodendron Cream Splash and the Philodendron Rio. I really don't get it. Um, just buy a Brazil. That's that's all I have to say. They, they carry such high price tags. And I honestly couldn't tell the difference between the Rio and the Cream Splash. And honestly, I'm not that desperate for white variegation. I'd rather just get the Brazil. And it's cheaper. And easier to find. I, I, I really don't understand why it's so popular. Guys... This one's so ugly. <laughs> the philodendron micans variegated. I micans is one of my favorite plants. 
as like as I've spoken about before, it's like it's on my arm. It's one of my favorite plants I've ever. It's gorgeous. It's easy to grow. I love them. Easy to propagate too. I just think that the variegated version is just extremely ugly. It like in s similar fashion to the Caladiums, I think that they look like vomit. I just don't think they're nice. And a lot of people say like, oh, because it's pink variegation. I actually don't like pink on plants, even though it's my favorite color. I'm wearing pink right now. <laughs> a lot of stuff in my room is pink. I don't like pink on plants. Like, I, I, I think the green and the darkness and the pink go together to make it look just like vomit. Like, it's, it's just absolutely n not great. I do like the philodendron heteraceum variegated form. And I'll put a picture of it up here so you can compare the two. That one. I would pay money for. I like that one. That one's pretty. Because that one just looks like a li little tiny, like, almost like a little tiny variegated Monstera. That trails. That one I like. But the Mykins? Hell no. No, 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 no. I might change my mind if I saw that in person, though. I don't know. I feel like it's one of those plants that maybe, if you see it in person, you might change your mind. So we'll see. If I ever, ever see it in person, it's not common, so I don't know. I might just be really picky with the allocations that I like, but I really don't like this one. Like, at all. I think it looks... gross. I don't, I don't know, like, almost in the same vein of the Caladiums, that I just don't look like, I don't like the, um, the look of the leaves on this one. And everyone loves this plant. Everyone sees it and then wants to buy it. And then I look at it and I'm like, Ugh, no thanks. I really don't. I don't get this one. I, like, I think it's just real ugly. It just... I don't know. <laughs> I think there's a Alocasia weyetii? Is that what it's called? That's really beautiful. I would own that one. But I don't... I don't maybe it's the edge of the leaves that I don't like. I, I think I don't like that like sharp waviness that you have in the Amazonica. I think it's really ugly. I don't like it at all. Okay, honorable mention. I actually own this one. And I thought I'd mention this one before my last two that are both pink, that are both, that I don't like either. And I've seen both in person. I think I've owned one. But anyway, I don't like this plant. <laughs> this thing. Um, yeah, so this is an Albuca humulus. Uh, I'll put up a picture of what it looks like on the internet, and it don't look like this. Like, I don't know how to make this look like what I want it to look like. Um, I've given it lots of light, I've watered it, I've let it dry out. I don't know what else I've done, but it's not working. Um, I got this because I wanted the Albuca Spiritualis, the Frizzle Sizzle, and I couldn't find it, so I got this. And I really should have just waited, because, you know. I don't know. I just have a look at this. Like, it just it just looks like grass. It's giving off a pup though, so maybe it is happy. I don't know. Can I show you the pup that there? The pup is lit over there. You can see it. So it's giving off a pup, but I maybe I'll sell it. I don't. It's just it kind of looks like cousin it. It just kind of sits there. I yeah. I don't know. It's just, it, yeah, it doesn't look anything like the pictures online. I, I don't know what to do with this thing. Speaking of plants that look a bit like vomit, this one definitely looks like vomit. And I'm talking about the Syncodium Pink Splash. I don't like this. I really don't. I've, I've seen it in person, I've seen pictures, and I don't like either one. I just don't like the mix of the green with the pink. I really don't. Like, and it carries such a high price tag as well, I don't understand why. It, I think that, like, contrast between, I'm looking at a picture of it now, the contrast of the, like, the almost deep green and the bright pink is just, like, pink and green don't go together anyway. Do they? No, wait, they do. I wear green and pink sometimes. 
yeah okay so i can't i can't explain why i don't like it then i just really don't like it um yeah i don't know it just looks like vomit to me again um but alternatively there is a plant that i do want i think someone's digging outside my house so if you heard that that's what it was so i do like the Syngonium Milk Confetti. That one I want. I like that because I like the light creaminess of the leaf with the pink as opposed to the green and the pink. I think that's a lot prettier and I think that's the one Syngonium I want. I want that. Oh, no, and I do want the Chia Pence as well. Oh, and the Frosted Heart. Okay, so I want three, but yeah. So the number one plant that I do not like is the Philodendron Pink Pet is the philodendron pink princess. I just, I don't like this plant. It looks really good in pictures, I have to say. I think all the pictures on like Instagram and just social media and when you Google it, amazing. Any specimen that I've seen in person does not look like that at all, especially the one that I had. I don't think I have a picture of the one I owned, but if I do find one, I will put it up somewhere here and then contrast it with the picture from the internet. I don't know what this plant wants from you. I don't know whether it wants light, less light, humidity, no humidity, fertilizer, chopping, a, a pole. I, I don't know what this plant wants. It's like, it was on a pole, in good light, and I was fertilizing, fertilizing it regularly, and all the leaves just came out smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, with like one dot of pink on it and I just I don't know and I think other people have talked about this as well as like you don't know what this pink princess is going to do like you can never predict what's going to happen like it'll fully revert and then two months later put out a pink leaf um so I don't know and the specimen that I had had a half moon pink leaf and other pink leaves as well and then it just stopped producing those leaves and it, and the leaves kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller and it was on a pole, it was climbing. I, I don't I don't understand what this plant wants from you at all. I do, however, like the Philodendron White Princess. So um, I think this grows nicer. I've seen specimens that are bigger and they all they look nicer than the pink. And I like that you're not trying to constantly get pink out of it. Um, so what you get is the specks of white that you normally get. This is a tiny specimen, but you get the specks of white there, like that. Yep, oh, that's a damaged leaf. Yep. And then the stems have a little bit of pink on them. So the petioles have some pink there, and sometimes the pink bleeds onto the leaf. I think I would prefer that, like a tricolor kind of situation, as opposed to the basically nothing, and then sometimes a little bit of pink. Um, this is easy to care for. I got this from Lori at Secret Garden Boutique again. And yeah, has given a, a new leaf and has already given me a new, new leaf already. Um, I think this is so much nicer than Pink Princess and I'm very excited to grow this one out actually. So that's my video of the plants that I don't like. Um, if you liked my video, like and subscribe and tell me what you think in the comments below. Bye.